I have to say that after um, this World Cup and the success of the groups of four and looking at as well some other competitions like uh, uh, the Euro, for example, where you have 24 teams and the top two plus the best third ones go to the next group stage. I mean, here the groups of four have been absolutely incredible in the sense that until the last minute of the last match, uh, you would not know who goes ahead. I think we have to revisit uh, or at least rediscuss the format, whether we go for 16 groups of three or 12 groups of four. The fact of playing in November, December, as opposed to the end of the season for many uh, players, uh, the end of exhausting season, uh, has certainly an impact. I mean, for many of these players, it is the first title of the season that is played in this World Cup. And uh, we've seen it uh, on, uh, on the quality of, um, of the games. Honestly, I believe that uh, we are defending values, we are defending human rights, we are defending rights of everyone in FIFA, in the World Cup. Every loss of life is, is a tragedy and whatever we could do in order to change the legislation to protect the health of the workers, to protect the situation of the workers, um, we did it and it happened whatever we can still do for the future we are doing it it's about respecting regulations we have regulations which say in the field of play you play football and that's what we did everyone is free to express his views his opinion his beliefs in the way he believes as long as it's done in a respectful way when it comes to the pitch to the field of play you need to respect football, you need to respect the field of play. And the main legacy is that those who came and those who were here to welcome them have actually discovered that what is said or what is thought or what is believed is not true. That you can spend time together and just enjoy and just have a good time and just know each other better. And these people, when they go back home, they will speak about their experience. The people who stay here, they will speak about their experience and they will open up more to the others. And I think this is uh, uh, really an important uh, uh, non-football legacy uh, which this particular World Cup has, uh, has brought.